Okay, so I'm doing a new thing now where if I fail a duel quite badly, quite a lot, I'm no longer gonna actually include it in the video. Like in the past couple of videos, I did like a funny sort of editing thing for them where I edited in some pictures and sound and shit like that. Try and make it funny and make joke of it, but it happens so often in this game. I, I like I'm running out of things to put in it and to like tie it together and to make it entertaining or funny or whatever. Like it's just totally pointless because this game is literally you've got like a 50-50 chance of winning any duel using the story mode deck, and you want to use the story mode deck because that's going to be the actual way it's meant to be played because they need you to do a certain sort of technique or tactic for a certain duel in order to win that way because that's what they want you to do but if you get a bad hand you're screwed and if they get a good hand you're even bigger screwed right so even bigger screwed I mean even more screwed so it's just it's not about like being good at the game or being skilled or anything it's just literally the look of the draw and like I can't be bothered to edit all that stuff like it would be so much easier if I wasn't doing commentary because I could just edit it out and you'd literally just get the match where I win but when you're doing commentary for it and like you're commentating for what like 10-15 minutes do and then you lose and it's like you've just wasted the last 15 minutes and you've been talking about whatever and no one's ever gonna listen to it because you're not gonna put it in because it's just a waste of time, it's pointless. Like you don't want like a 30 minute long video where like I have a 20 minute duel where I lose and then a 10 minute duel where I win, it's just completely pointless. So I'm just gonna put in the duels that I win because obviously when it's like this, you can tell that like if this is the screen you get with them blacked out silhouettes at the beginning of the video then you know that I beat it first time but if it's like this and they're coloured in it means I've already tried it and I got screwed over so I'm doing it again so instead of like I don't know I'm, I'm just gonna jump into it because I want to beat this guy because he's a complete asshole and his cards and his technique are so cheap it's a load of shit. The second semi-final match was Joey vs Bandit Keith. In order to compete in the duel, each contestant had to present his tournament entry card, which Joey shockingly did not have. And this is also annoying where I have to read out this entire information thing every time I lose, so I need to do it again. But it saves time, more time than editing, editing the one where I did read it and then not reading it sort of thing. Unknown to Joy, Banda Keith stole Joy's entry card the night before. Per the rules of the tournament, Joy was granted five minutes to find his card or be disqualified. Joy searched everywhere but was unable to find it. On his way back to the arena, he broke down in the hallway. Yeah, like I said, it's a lot quicker and easier just to read that every time I try and do the duel rather than just, you know, like edit, edit bits together. My handed him her handkerchief. As Maya walked away, Joy noticed she had hidden her tournament entry card in the handkerchief. Joy ran back to the arena. Like, I don't even have my headphones on now because I literally don't need to listen to this game because there's nothing to listen to. All it is is background music. So, I'm playing it without headphones on, meaning. It's like, it's just pretty much might as well be on mute. So, I just go to show you what little pull there is for this game. It's literally just duels and a retelling of the stories and stuff. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool how they're doing like every major duel in the series, of all the series, it seems.
Uh, ooh. Please give me a polymerization. If you don't, I'll be very upset. First, let's set my armor. Um. Right, okay. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna save that. Alright, so if it goes second, that means I can attack now. Power right in the kisser. Uh, still, he. We mustn't have the card he wants, so we can't summon these high-powered monsters. Which is good for me. Um. Alright, okay. Just get in it. I guess I should just get in as many cheap shots as I can before he destroys me with his combo. And hope I get a polymerization next round. Maybe a red eyes black dragon. Oh, he still hasn't been able to summon anything. Ooh, I need this. Okay. Activate graceful charity. Okay, a red eyes black metal dragon. Okay, that one. Uh, must be for a special summon. Uh, my deck, it would, it's not my deck now, so can I even use it? I don't think so. No, so I might as well get rid of it if I can't use it. Um, yeah, I'll set that. So even if he does summon anything, it's not going to help him. I really want to summon a thousand dragon there. Sacrifice this one could be girl. Girl loses. Battle mode. Come on, Masaki. You've been doing pretty good this duel. And Garuzis is turn next. One more turn without any cards on his side of the field. And uh, I won. I like how this is like my fourth or fifth time fighting him and he's destroyed me each time because of his stupid cheap tactics yet yeah, this is like I'm demolishing him right now it's totally one-sided because he hasn't got any good cards this goes to show you exactly how much of a 50-50 chance it is that well not even 50-50 but what a slim chance it is even going to get a good hand in the first place it's totally down to like luck and he still hasn't got another one so unless them traps are very good then he's screwed Test it out with this uh, Koji Kosi. I thought that was in battle mode, but here we go. Yep, I've won. I'll use Garuzas to end it. Now, see how quick and easy that match was compared to the four or five other attempts I had. That did not go very well. But I'm going to edit it so it looks like this was my first time. Even though you'll know it won't be because I've actually just told you. And I told you at the beginning of this, this video as well. Hmm. And take him far away. Right. Okay, basically Keith's like deck is basically just like the strongest cards from the first series. The ones that everybody knew were the powerhouses in Duels of the Roses game. Zoas and Barrel Dragons and Me Mecha Zoas. Metal Zoas. Well I'm glad I finally got him beat.